just suggested. This show is fit to sell, not yeah, fit to sell. Yeah. yeah, I was going to turn it into a joke, and I can't think of think of one. So we're just going to go with fit to sell. What does it take to get your house fit to sell? And so, what Bonnie and Ron? This is Bonnie and Ron Sadler, by the way. And you may have seen them on a previous show, and you may see them on future shows. And actually, their claim to fame is 2005, <laughs> where they did our first ever video story with a client. It wasn't in a studio like this. It wasn't near as classy. It was my mom and dad's living room yeah. in Barrie, Ontario. And we, Ron and Bonnie, have shared with me that they actually made Ken and I feel comfortable because we were so nervous doing our first thing. Have you ever noticed the first time you do something, you are really nervous? So whether it's selling a home for the first time or buying a home for the first time, there's more anxiousness and more things that are running through your head and more questions that you have than there will ever be again. Because that first time is the trickiest time. Have you ever noticed that? It's certainly been true for me. And you remember those things better. So what we thought we'd chat about today is a little bit about how to get your home fit so it can get sold. Because is it any fun getting your home on the market no. and then it not selling? <laughs> Like that's worse. It's not fun getting it home on the market in the first place and then getting it home, a home on the market and not selling is awful. So I'm Yetta Decker and this is the Inside Track on Real Estate. Today's show has been created courtesy of Ron and Bonnie. It was their banter that made me go, oh my goodness. If we don't talk about this, we will be negligent and negligence is not something I'm okay with. Right? right? So you've been our client since 05? 13 years. 13 years. And you've been um, a huge advocate of ours. We jokingly use the word fan, and really, oh, yeah. that's not accurate. It's oh, really yeah. advocate. Groupie. 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 <laughs> groupies. groupies. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're like groupies. Who yeah. knew? The Deckers have groupies. There you go. First two right here. <laughs> <laughs> Which is incredible. And yet, there's a reason for that. Oh, yes. So what can, what does a seller have to think about when they're getting their home ready, fit for market? What are they looking for? What do they need from their realtor? Support okay. is key. Um, I was just relating to, to yet a, a really, really bad experience that I had. When not we're, with me. No, not with, <laughs> not with you. <laughs> not with Yetta. When we were selling our home in Cold Lake. Ron and I, he's still currently serving in the Royal Canadian Air Force. I'm retired. And at the time we were leaving Cold Lake, Ron was actually deployed to Aviano, Italy during the Balkans crisis. And there I was, practically a single mother, two young children in the home. How do I get my home ready for the market? Don't forget. Yes, well, yeah. Is, oh, no, I wasn't selling the house yeah. and leaving him. This or is, this is <laughs> <laughs> not that time anyway. <laughs> no, you, what people have to understand who, who are not related to the military experience is we get our orders, we have to go, we have to sell. Yeah. So, and we have a very finite time to sell it in. So, I'm going to turn this over to Bonnie because, as she said, I was deployed overseas and she took care of business and she did an amazing job. Oh, thanks, hon. Yeah, so there's so much angst. Like, who do I go to? How do I. Yetta mentioned fit to sell, making the house fit to sell, but also getting the right fit of the individual who's going to sell your home. I uh, inadvertently went into one of the local real estate uh, offices just to get a good feel of whereabouts I would price our home. And one of the real estate agents came out and talked to me, chatted to me, and he says, well, come have a look at your house. And I was really hesitant to because I knew the individual, small community, I did not like his reputation as a real estate agent. But I said, okay, I'm going to humor him. Yeah, he came and he looked at the house. And he went around and said, this has to be done. And Okay, so there was caulking around the bathtub. There was uh, caulking around the windows. There was maybe a couple of tears in the carpet. I don't even remember all the details. But he walked through my house and proceeded to pick it apart for a whole hour. And when he left, I did not feel confident in his ability at all. I felt that if 
he was going to come in here and really sell my house to somebody, he would have had to at least found something positive to say about my house. I loved my house. It was a huge home. It was a, it's, it finished up and down. The marketing pulled like at the time it was kind of slow. So I had talked to a few friends and one of them said, drop them. Don't, don't let them sell your house. And without Ron there to talk things over with, I'm sure you would have been just as upset with the way he handled himself. Um, I, I said, yeah. So I called up his office the next morning and I said, you know what? Don't bother. Don't bother coming back. Well, no, I don't want him in my house. I don't want to have anything to, he's not the right fit for my sale. Remember the phone call? What phone call, dear? Because I was working midnight to noons and because of the time difference, I called you at seven o'clock at night that night and you actually, you were in tears. Oh, okay. I remember that. And, and I'm like, what, 5,000 miles away going, what do I what do? do? So I just gave her the best advice I could. I said, do what feels right. Yeah. And she did. And what felt so, right and what was the right fit for yeah. us at the time or me at the time was to seek out another real estate agent. Right. And that's where we kind of come in. We're not kind of, can come in. Regardless of where you live and where you're moving from, we have this incredible network of realtors from around the world, all over our country, all over North America, and in fact, all over the world. Just a client the other day, Lisbon, another client, Florida, making moves and calling me from Portugal, actually, to say, hey, Yetta, who should I work with here? There's real estate offices all around me, and yet I want somebody like you and like your team where I can get basically the Decker team experience in another country. Can you make the introduction? And so what I do, even if I don't know anybody personally, which in many cities we do already, because we've got an amazing network of almost 30 years of developing relationships with realtors from around the globe. If we don't, we actually phone into the managers of the offices that we know. And then we ask them based on the description of our client, who they are, what they're looking for, who they, who the person is more than the house they're looking for. That's kind of the easy part. It's more about matching people with people. So getting that right fit that Bonnie talked about and then finding somebody that I can then interview. I will interview 10 if I have to. It doesn't matter to me. I will interview until I find the right fit for that client so that they can have the experience they deserve when they're selling or buying wherever they are in the world. And so when you mentioned that, that's exactly what flashed through my head. Yeah, that's what I do every day is find the right fit for people because we, we are licensed in Ontario, all of Ontario. And yet how much service can I really bring? Can our team really bring to somebody if they're six or seven hours away? There are realtors that will travel six or seven hours to help somebody buy a home. And yet is that really the best for the client? My suggestion would be probably not. Partnering with somebody, eh, maybe a realtor in that city, and yet having a connection with a realtor in the city so that we can ensure you get the help you need yeah. can be huge. And so the right fit, we can help with that, whether it's here or it's abroad. Yeah. And the other thing I heard you say, which I absolutely love, is the right fit is helping the, the house get fit for market, absolutely, except let's start with what is great about the property. Because there is always, I need mean always, having done this for three decades, always things that are amazing about every property, yeah. right? Every home has its highlights. Yeah, it does. And then it is time to get serious. And even if it makes people feel a little uncomfortable, telling the truth about what needs to be or fixed. could be fixed. Yeah. See, nothing, generally speaking, nothing needs to be fixed. It's a question of how much do you want to sell your house for? You know, that's a good point because the house we did end up buying, if you recall, they were selling it as a four bedroom home, but they had converted the fourth bedroom into a laundry room. And Yetta said to me across the table, we were staying at the hotel downtown with the suites and you said, no, they're asking way too much. And I said, but it's a four bedroom home. He said, no, it's not. They've converted it into a three bedroom home. We're going after them for a price of a three bedroom home. And that's when I also coined another <laughs> nickname for Yetta, my real estate shark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that one either. <laughs> but, but it worked because she went back to them and said, 
it's a three bedroom home. You cannot sell this as a four bedroom home. You've converted that fourth bedroom into a laundry room. It and is it's a not home. easily convertible back. Well, it, it wasn't. It actually cost us money to get it converted back. We now have this but home is, but it was worth it because now we have a four bedroom home. So, right. But yeah, so so things like that you have to take into consideration. Right, even when you're selling. Yeah. Right. Whether you're selling or you're buying, to have a realtor actually help you figure out how to get the house so you can get the maximum value for it. Like, can we change the zoning? Is that the way to get the best value for the home? Is it to relocate some of the spaces in the room? Is it to position furniture in such a way that people can imagine themselves using the home with its optimal use? Because if we have our Depending on how we have it set up, it actually now becomes lesser value in the mind of the buyer. Yeah. And so when we're helping somebody sell, it's how do we help you? How do you maximize? How do you maximize your money? Because yeah, right. it really is about putting as the right, like as much as the market will bear into the seller's pocket. And I know if you're a buyer right now, you're thinking that doesn't sound right. Well, have us on the buying side and see how we work there. Exactly. And that's what you just said. Exactly. It's really looking at it from a long-term perspective because this decision is make, being made right now and yet it has to serve you in the long term. Exactly. Yeah. And because it was going to be a cost associated to you converting it back if you were going to do it, then it didn't, because the square footage was still the square footage. It was. Except the utility of the house was truly a three bedroom. Exactly. And we wanted a four bedroom house. Right. And you got one. And we did. And we did. So uh, this is the thing people have to take into consideration, buying and selling. Yeah, absolutely. So... When it comes to selling, you talked a little bit, Bonnie, about somebody just going after what's not right. Yeah. And you said that didn't work for that you. That didn't work for me at all. That you need to know what's right yeah. and then know what you could do. And the reason I say you don't have to do it is because you don't have to do it. You then have to be prepared not to get the money that you could have got because maintenance or deferred maintenance, because most of those items were really deferred maintenance. Um, those items actually will change the value of your home by up to 10%. Yep. And so it's just really being willing to have that real conversation. Yeah. Well, in this situation too, the downstairs bathroom, there had been a leak on the floor. Mm -hmm. And uh, he suggested, not even him, I, I didn't even go with him. I went with another real estate agent, yeah, obviously. And she suggested that I redo the bathroom. So I went out being on my own again. I, I'm okay though. I'm pretty independent. She is. <laughs> Uh, I went out and started buying items for the bathroom. I bought a new uh, pedestal sink and a new toilet and that new, new linoleum flooring. for the floor. floor. And I was going to redo the bathroom. As it stands, the people that came into the house and who actually ended up buying mm -hmm. the house didn't want me to change the bathroom because they wanted to do their own thing. Their own thing. They wanted to add their personal touch to that bathroom. Yeah. So I didn't end up having to replace the bathroom. So... Yeah. And, and Bonnie being the person she is, she says, well, I'll just leave all the stuff here for you anyway. And we didn't even charge them for it. Nice. But that's just Bonnie. Yeah, that is <laughs> nice. You guys are amazing that way. So just having somebody that can give you the probability of what things really need to be done and what things don't need to be done. The number of times I have the privilege of going into someone's home two, three, even four or five years before they're ready to make a move, but they know they're going to. And they know they want to continue to do some maintenance and some improvements, but we, and which ones is mm -hmm. the question. And so it isn't a blank answer because it really is so dependent on what is the current condition and what is the current expectation in that price range in that area. And it varies from neighborhood to neighborhood. It varies from house to house just based on price point. Yep. Right. So there is not a blanket answer. I mean, yes, we have a guide and you're welcome to log on to the Decker team website and order a free guide that we charge nothing for, which is Ottawa and area selling and buying guide, which will give you a lot of those general tips. And yet when it's your home specifically, um, I can do it from pictures. If you're not ready to have somebody in the home, a lot of times I can help make that determination just via you sending me a bunch of pictures and telling me what you're thinking about and other times it's much better depending on the magnitude of what you're considering to have us into your home and we don't charge for that 
And the reason we don't is we have found that when we serve, when we give with a leading hand and serve you in the way you deserve to be served, then when it is time to make the move, you call us. We're your go-to. And being your go-to realtor is just kind of fun, right? You coin phrases for us and you call us things and you, and you create our systems. But I call you good things. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember a few I didn't like so much. Well, okay. <laughs> That's not true. No. <laughs> it's not true. And one of the things that we talked about briefly before we got on air, because you got to know that there's a pre-show before the show, because that's the fun. I mean, it's fun, right? One of the things we talked about was just the opportunity to stay engaged after you have sold your home. Yeah. And you invite us into your home, which you don't have to do. I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> and yet it's very nice that you do. And we get to continue the journey with you. Because it, it's it, what started off as a professional relationship has turned into an amazing friendship. And, and that's that Bonnie and I are, we hold our friends very close to our heart. Yeah, thank um, you. And it takes a lot to get into that circle. But you and Ken have, are amazing people. And, and you've, well, you broke into that circle. And all our friends adore you. Yeah. They really do. <laughs> Literally, they do. They do. <laughs> um, relate a story about the, the openness of Yetta. You, you were going through some kind of a... You had to do something that's outside of your character. Remember you did that at our house? Where you Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I remember. Uh, people I was, she 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 was, knew some from previous uh engagements, but there was a lot of new people there that you didn't know. So you were really going outside of your comfort. That she didn't want to in, in, impose us. So you asked me and I, I said, Well, by all means, because that to me was like, Wow, Yetta Yetta feels really comfortable here. She feels like she's at home and, and and I guess the feeling I was feeling was like yeah go right ahead please do it so it wasn't so. really rude what I did no no <laughs> no, no. she has been socially awkward <laughs> so all it was was I was taking our course and during the course one of the things that they asked us to do was to have a certain number of real estate conversations just simply ask people that we were in connection with or that we were going to connect with over the next few days if they were thinking of making a move either selling buying or investing in real estate and if they needed our assistance and who did they know that was potentially going to be making a move where they needed some wise counsel that would step in and and be their coach on the side realtor and so I was at your house for yes, uh, a gathering, a gathering, a pierogi <laughs> party, I believe, or yeah, it could have been a summer bar it was barbecue. A pierogi party. It was the pierogi party, yeah. And the timing was such that I didn't have too many hours left. So getting on the phone and making all those phone calls wasn't going to happen. So I thought, never done this before. Because when I'm invited to somebody's home, if they talk about me being their realtor, that's perfect. That's wonderful. And I appreciate that. And Ron and Bonnie are great to do that. And yet I'm not going to be the one the awkward one at a party saying, hey, look at me, I, I'm here to help you if you need to buy or sell a house. And so this was one of those times where <sighs> I had to breathe and then ask because I would never have done it without asking. Oh, no. And, and, you, and when you ask, what did I say? It was yes. automatic yes. It was an automatic means. yes. And part of the reason I think you would say yes is, A, you know what your friends could expect. Exactly. And you've introduced us to 10 or more clients anyway. So the fact is you're already out there encouraging others to have the Decker team experience, which is, again, something you coined, uh, not something I made up, something you made up um, that we continue to live with to this Copyright day. Copyright IP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. Um, so that's been really yeah. So we appreciate you for that. Thank yeah. you. No, it's great. It was, but it was, it was amazing to see you do that because you put yourself. You really put yourself out. You put there. yourself out I mean, there. You do it all the time. That was really amazing. That was cool. I mean, when Bonnie and I are, are because we're, we're both, uh, I'm still serving in the military and Bonnie's retired. We were in situations like that all the time. We have to go into conference rooms and brief people we've never met and be confident and brief. So we do it as as a as a matter of our job. But I, I know for you, that was difficult for you to, and to, to watch you stand up and do it. That was really amazing. So, so that's <laughs> I had put that memory way back. <laughs> it was gone. Because yeah. uh, it's so much more fun when somebody reaches me, yeah. calls me, than when I call you to say, do you need to buy, a, buy or sell a home? Or in fact, who do you know? Yeah. It just, 
Yeah, I think it's just more comfortable yeah. when somebody's connecting with me. To bring this back full circle to to the right fit. Yeah. The Decker team is, was, is, and will be the right fit for us. Always. Always. Mm. Because the Decker team, like our real estate experiences were went, went from mediocre to average to bad to amazing. Just like that. It, it was, and... and if it wasn't as good as it was, we would not be sitting here having this conversation, <laughs> believe me. And you and know me. So. I do know you. <laughs> and having the conversation more than once. Yeah. So you can find these folks on our other shows because they're they're just so willing to share the truth of their experience in a way that maybe will align with you so that you can determine, hey, is this a fit for me? Is this something, and maybe if it's not, you're still going to get some ideas. It's just an invitation to connect with us. And yet, you know what? If we're not, I'm actually really good with that. And if we are, I'm really good with that too. <laughs> so one of the ways that we've continued to stay in touch is gathering at your house. And then the other is through Decker Team family gatherings. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Where you come out, you connect with new friends, yep. you connect with old friends. I've seen you at some of the gatherings, connect with people you've never met before. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a people person. So is Bonnie. We're both people. We love meeting new people. We really enjoy that. So. And pretty much all of them are pretty awesome. Yeah, very awesome. And so the next thing we have coming up in just a few days, March 24th, is the chili and pie cook off. Oh. Yeah. At the church. No, no, this okay. is actually at our office. Okay. So we've been hosting our chili and pie cook-offs just the last year at Five Corvus. You've been great to come to the apple events and the mm -hmm. strawberry, and you've been to some of the other uh, cook-offs just mm -hmm. when we had a different location. Yeah. And so this time we're actually going to do it at our office at Five Corvus. And so if you're a previous client and you're thinking, I've got my invite yet. Well, that's because <laughs> they haven't got their invite yet either. Um, no, it, it has got in the email. So if you haven't received it, you do want to call our office and just say, maybe for whatever reason, spam filters are catching emails. We do tend to do an e-invite now simply because of the cost and the cutting down of trees. We're really working hard to go green and not have a lot of hard copy. Um, so if you didn't get your invite, you want to reach us. If you're somebody that introduces us to other people or you're somebody that, you know, you've already worked with us and therefore you should have received your invite and you didn't, we're your go-to realtor and we didn't go to you with an invite, email us, info at Decker Team, or you could do Yetta, Y-E-T-T-A at DeckerTeam.com, or send us, you know, give us a quick call at 613-860-4663, because part of the right fit, from my perspective, is also staying in relationship, having fun together, growing together, and just, just enjoying life together, because we get great ideas from you, from these guys, and I'm hopeful that occasionally we give you a great idea too, <laughs> right? So tell me a little bit about a couple of your family gatherings that you've been to, some some surprises maybe that have come from just being out there and meeting new people. Because I can picture you at one in particular, there was a couple there yeah. that really didn't know they were very from many Northern people. Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember that couple. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, in the moment, their life was certainly brightened by you. That's good. They, you know, they I were new the to the area. Yeah. That was reciprocated. Yeah. 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 They yeah. were, they were just. Because I remember saying, I'm from Northern Ontario and we just struck up a conversation. Yeah. And it caused them to, they're still family. Actually, the daughter in love has actually been on the show with us oh, in the wonderful. past uh, previously. So there is a show out there with that amazing family as well. And I just, re it was really fun to watch them feel, they were relocating. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so your experiences helped them move forward. Yeah. That's oh, I, see, I'm, I'm slowly remembering the conversation because I I remember uh, what was the gentleman's name? I can't remember his name. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, but I looked at him and I said, you know what? Put your mind at ease because this woman's amazing and she is going to help you get through this. And and you could just he kind of visibly relaxed. It was kind of yeah. nice to, to yeah. See that. yeah. So it's neat that you do that for each other. Yeah. yeah. Clients yeah. do that for each other, and it's even in a social setting. Yeah. That was Which is very neat. Yeah, you know, I'm antisocial. <laughs> <laughs> so, right fit. Right yeah, fit. Yeah, right fit. Right fit. If you're looking for the right fit, there are things, and that's whether the right fit about pricing the home, that's about the right fit 
of the realtor that you choose. That's about the right fit of what even to do to prepare your home for market. You're certainly welcome to give us a call. We can give you a general overview and then a more one-on-one conversation if that is valuable to you. And if you want to talk to Ron and Bonnie and actually get the even more background news, you know what? They would be willing to do that. So you connect with us for us to connect with you because I don't think we want to put your phone number out there for the no, whole world. No, please don't. We're not doing that right now. And yet they are available to connect with if you have specific questions. If there's a burning thing in the back of your mind going, you didn't address this. You didn't talk about this and I really need to know because that'll help me determine um, who the right fit might be. Speaking of right fit, if, if I may, yeah. um, one thing Ken and Yetta ha- have done is really embraced the military family because we're forced to move. When we get a posting message, we have to move. And, and we have, uh, of the people we have uh, recommended Ken and Yetta to, a majority are serving members of our Canadian Armed Forces. And, and they have made them feel special. They've put them right at ease. As a matter of fact, a very good friends of ours are the latest couple, Johnny A. and his wife Allison. Uh, he's a great man. She's a great lady. And uh, when they call, when when he called me from Cold Lake and said, "Hey, do you know a real estate agent?" I said, "Bud, have I got someone for you?" And I'll be quite honest, they have fallen in love with you just like we have. Yeah, the so right fit. It's the right fit. Yeah, they were and, lovely. And the way you have embraced uh, the people, because anxiety. Remember, we talked about anxiety before. Military moves make people anxious. Yeah. It's the unknown, and uh, but you, you and Ken have, have have come up with a formula to put us all at ease. So anybody out there who's in the Canadian Armed Forces looking for an awesome real estate agent in Ottawa, sitting right beside me, right here. Aw, thank <laughs> so, you. Oh, you're welcome. And yeah, and we did talk a little earlier about even if you're going to another area and you want somebody that will bring the same sort of. Um, expertise, the same sort of care, the same diligence to the conversation, we can do an introduction. So even if you're moving from Cold Lake and you want a realtor there, we can help you with that. Or if you're moving to, we can also help you find the buying realtor to help you there. So both buying and selling side, certainly something we've done for quite a few of your friends, and we can certainly do for you as well, just to make sure that you do, in fact, get the right fit. If you have questions, if you're thinking you need anything from us, you can reach us 613-860-4663. And I always love Ron and Bonnie, the banter, (laughs) the amazing banter. We have an idea of where we're going and what we need to tell you and we'd like to share with you. And then you just never know (laughs) where it's going to go. Script gone. (laughs) (laughs) And yet there is a structure that we work within. So we make sure that the vital things are handled both when you're selling a home, buying a home, or even being our guest on the inside track. So thanks, guys. Thanks, Yetta. Thank you. Thanks. And I appreciate you for playfully, powerfully, and purposefully moving forward together. What you want to do? What man is going?